Hey guys, welcome back to another What The Hack episode. Today I'll be making a couple of modifications to my Slingshot Bow version 2 to improve the accuracy and power. Some of these modifications are my own and some are suggested by you guys. So yes, I do read all your comments and today I'll even implement some of them. First is the bow. Quercus commented that I can get a better grip of the bow if I use a Y joint instead of a T joint. So basically the handle will be leaning towards one end of the joint at 45 degrees. The only problem is that I couldn't find it anywhere. I searched through like 5 hardware stores and couldn't find a 3 quarter inch Y joint. So instead I decided to make my own. I'm gonna take my 3 quarter inch T joint and heat it around the bottom section to make it soft and pliable. Then I'll insert my handle and bend it to one side to the angle I feel suitable. I don't want to take it too far or the PVC will come apart or become too thin compromising the strength of the structure. Now I just have to hold it like this for a minute or two allowing the PVC to cool down and harden up again. Once done you can see we have our own makeshift Y joint and it's pretty solid. I'll use some sanding paper to clean it up a little. Next, I'll make my handles for the bands on this T. In this video, I won't be going into a lot of detail. You can watch my previous two slingshot bow videos where I have shown two techniques to make these handles step by step. Another issue was accuracy. In my previous version, I used a screw joint to narrow down the barrel so it can shoot more accurately. But I think it still had room for improvement. So this time, I'll make my own whisker biscuit. A whisker biscuit is sold at archery stores and installed in bows to make them shoot more accurately. It is basically a ring with bristles. It keeps the arrow centered and when it shoots through, the bristles cause minimum drag on the fletching so the speed of the arrow stays unaffected. I've made mine from a toothbrush. I've cut it down into three small pieces and to hold it together, I'll use a bottle cap from a juice bottle. Now that we have all the parts, it's time for a paint job. Once the paint has dried completely, I'll fit them together using some PVC glue. For the whisker biscuit, I need to cut the bottle cap to match the T-joint opening. So I'll place the T-joint on my cap and it leaves a nice round mark since the paint hasn't completely dried. I actually painted this cap later than the other parts. Using these marks, I'll cut out a circle with my blade. Now I'll attach this to the front of the slingshot with some two-part epoxy glue and let the whole thing dry for about 20 minutes. When the PVC glue and epoxy has set, I'll install the rubber bands on the handles. Six on each side and a dab of hot glue on the handles to hold the bands in place. The pouch I've taken from an old slingshot. You can make your own from an old shoe like I explained in my metal hanger slingshot project. Some people ask why I don't use proper slingshot bands instead of these regular rubber bands. Well, the whole point of this slingshot was to make it from stuff you can find easily at home or your local store. I don't know about your city, but here you don't find slingshots hanging everywhere. Now let's make some arrows. I'll still be using my trusty skewer sticks. These are the biggest I could find in the store. Last time I punched a regular steel nail at the tip to give it some piercing strength. This time I found a better alternative. I had this set of dots lying around and these have screw on metal tips which seem perfect for the job. I cut off the sharp side of the wooden stick and with just a little bit of sanding I was able to fit the metal tip on it. To make sure it doesn't go anywhere, I'm gonna fix it using some two part epoxy and let it set for 15 minutes. Another suggestion which came for a glass breaking arrow on my previous video was by Christos and he says if I invert the nail in such a way that the head of the nail is facing front, it would work better as a glass breaker and will not ricochet as much. Well, let's put it to the test then. To give it the best chance, I'm using 2 inch hardened steel nails with the sharp tip cut off so it doesn't damage the arrow. This one also has a lot more weight and a more round head for better impact. 
I've drilled a hole through my arrow the size of the nail shank and I'll fit this in with some epoxy to make a permanent fit. Now I'll cover the arrows in some electrical tape for a little added strength and weight. Next I'll put on my three wings fletching made from clear plastic tape which I've then colored with my marker just like last time. Again you can revert to my previous video on how I did this step by step. Now that my arsenal is loaded, it's time for some demo shots. I can already feel this one is gonna outperform its predecessor. The grip really is much better than the previous one. The arrows seem more promising and this whisker biscuit seems to be really holding the arrow in place. I just have to be careful I don't wiggle the arrow too much or it will move out from the brush triangle. First off, I'll start off with some styrofoam just to test the accuracy. And it really is better. The arrows are going where I'm aiming and they are going all the way through the styrofoam. Now coming to the glass breaker arrow. Dustin suggested that I load my arrows from the back to avoid warping the fletching. I agree with him so let's go with it. Once again I've set up a soda bottle as my target for the glass shot. Initially, it was doing the same thing as before, bouncing off the bottle, but after a couple of tries, it finally gave up. This is the best shot so far, but I just wish the lighting was a little better. I also broke another glass jar, but forgot to hit the record button in the first shot. This is the second shot, and it didn't turn out to be that great, but I'm glad it finally did manage to break glass. Thanks Christos for your idea. The dot tips perform much better than my previous steel nails, they don't bend, and uh, they even look better, not to mention the extra weight it adds to the front of the arrow making its path even more streamlined. It went clean through metal cans, plastic bottles, it even pierces through tin cans. And it digs pretty snug in the wood, I could lift a 1 kilo cutting board with it. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's not pretty but it performs much better than the previous versions and the accuracy is 10 times better with the new Whisker Biscuit mod. Once again thanks to all of you for your suggestions. I've loved Slingshot since I was a little kid and I'm glad to see so many out there who share the same passion as me. I'm working on a couple more Slingshots right now including a PVC one which shoots metal balls, a proper hunting Slingshot bow with real arrows as well as a compressed air powered version. I'm also approaching 5000 subscribers very quickly and will be doing a giveaway once I cross the mark. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. That's it for now guys. I hope you liked this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel for more gadget reviews, life hacks and facts. Make sure you like my page on Facebook and follow me on my other social media. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.